Are you winning, son? You bet he is. I'm teaching him how to make chocolate fondue without a fondue cooker. That's awesome. Can you start from the beginning so I can learn too? Why certainly. Uh, come on, we're like two thirds of the way into the video. I'm not gonna- Hey, shut up! All right, let's get to the question on everyone's mind. How can the Flintstone celebrate Christmas before the birth of Jesus Christ? Well, that and how do you make fondue, chocolate or otherwise, without a fondue pot? Anyway, the answer is this, an induction cooktop. As long as the power outlet's nearby, you can have fondue anywhere at any time. Okay, full disclaimer, an induction cooktop will cost you more money than a fondue pot, gas or electric. But look at it this way, you're not just limited to cooking fondue. Unlike a fondue pot that only, um, you know, I'm stalling, let's get to it. Now, if you're gonna use an induction cooktop, make sure you use a pan or pot that has a magnetic bottom. I won't get into the science of it, but if you are curious, check out Electro Boom's video. Just, um, don't follow his directions too closely. Not really, you may be talking- Anyway, uh, grab yourself a nice two quart sauce pot and put it on our induction cooker. To it, add one cup of heavy cream. Bring this to a boil over high heat. Okay, once it begins to foam up like this, decrease the heat to low and pour in 16 ounces of milk chocolate. All right, this is the consistent See, we want. I'm filming this episode in 4K, so you should be seeing it pretty well. Okay, put this on keep warm. If your induction cooker does not have a keep warm button, just put it on its lowest setting. Now this tastes okay as it is, but let's kick it up a notch. Add one teaspoon of vanilla. And two tablespoons of Kahlua. Cut up some pound cake, marshmallows, and strawberries, and you're in for a wild night of fondueing. But before we end, I just need to say something. Around some time last year, I made a beer and cheddar fondue, and I got a ton of hate for it. And yet, just recently, Andrew Ray from Binging with Babish made roughly the same thing, and no one's giving him crap. How come he gets a free pass, yet the Swiss ignore their neutrality policy and come and attack me instead? This is pure bullshit. This has been Jay's Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. I can't believe this stupid normie is ruining this excellent meme. It never turns out- I thought I told you to shut up!